So I think that what's happening here is that devils are making our American society to be like a fucking asshole. Make up your fucking mind. Devils are making our American society to be like a fucking asshole. Make up your fucking mind. So what I think's happening here is that what's what's happening to America is that all the honest jobs like you know a, a manufacturing job or a building job or you know regular labor, labor jobs are are mostly being farmed out to China and then and then the jobs that are only left here what and, and all these apartment buildings are, are being built for all these people that'll be for like this indoor economy sort of situation where it's just bullshit you know they're they're making their money off of off of uh, you know, like uh, little, you know, scams where you just, you know, like cryptocurrency trading, cryptocurrency duh, 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 trading, little machines, blah, 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 and that's how, and meanwhile, you're eating the food and and benefiting from the services that uh, all the laborers are doing. And those people are, 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 have an honest living, but those people who are not making an honest living, their souls are ripe for harvesting by these devils. That's what the whole thing is, is that America's making uh, uh, the devils are making America just like a, a manufacturing plant for corrupt, effed up souls uh, that just sit around, you know, basically doing nothing for their money and living sumptuously and driving nicer cars, nice new cars, and zooming along. And uh, and and but and then the the regular working people are just you know the like the, the like the lower rung poor slobs just doing the you know the the labor and stuff working in the in the you know shops and and the stores that you need for stuff and uh, but but the whole point is to just make legions and legions batch after batch of people dying these fat lazy slobs that do nothing really for their money except shuffle paperwork back and forth blah 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 some blah, bullshit not really working you know trading this trade that all oh, there's stress all oh, there's a big thing to overcome blah blah blah, blah. but it's, but in the end it's all not really working for the money, not, even, not not doing honest labor in the in the things that are needed for our lives, and uh, and then the rest, of course, like frivolous stuff like entertainment and stuff is all just corruption, pure corruption. So if you're working in that, then you're also uh, ripe for harvest. And another thing I was going to say about the vaccines is, I think if you think it's a good idea to take it. You should take it. And if you don't think it's a good idea to take it, then don't take it. It's a good idea to not take it. You know? That's because I mean if you really think it's a good idea to get the vaccine, well, then you should get it. I mean straight up. <laughs> so uh yeah, so I think, uh, uh, but what I was uh, saying about the, you know, because they're they talking about, you know, like they're shipping all the manufacturing jobs overseas and everything, and and I was trying to get to the, the, the crux of this, which is that the the pandemic and the whole, um, the, the whole agenda now with, you know, uh, Schwab, that guy, and, and, you know, all the New World Order people, it's, it's, those, it's, it's not just a plan of all those people. I think it's Satan basically just bringing in the harvest, which has already been there. Because you see, people doing these unrighteous occupations, they they already they already have given Satan legality. They already have given Satan legality to. To do this whole thing and to and to take their rights away and shut them up in their homes and and give them a, a forced income and everything else because people have already acquiesced to the wickedness because if they had a true heart they would have been like me they would have said fuck you and your fucking occupations and not done them but here we got everybody running around doing their banking bullshit their used car bullshit. Doesn't matter that there's there's no other explanation and no way house to how to make money and there's nothing else you can do about it and then how else or where you're gonna get uh, uh, all that's a bunch of uh, that's that sideshow. The real story is 
you're an unrighteous shit sack to do it. Period. Okay? Even though you can't understand exactly why it's wrong. Being a renter is wrong. Renting people out homes is wrong. That's a, that's a crime. Selling shit. Merchants shall not enter the places of my father, Jesus said. Why? Because there's something about being a merchant, even though this is, how else are you going to get goods? Who, who, how, how are we going to have a job if, if we can't? Yeah. Okay? Bottom line to it is, you're doing it, and you're a shit sack that deserves to have your mind so fucked up that you think taking the vaccine is a good idea. Yeah, taking the vaccine is a great idea. Yes, it is. You'll love your vaccine. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's, it's, it, it, see, it's not just one thing, all of a sudden this evil's coming upon us. No, it's, everybody's already said, okay, I'll do the evil bullshit and be an evil shit sack. And by the way, both of my parents were that, and they were decent people, okay? My mother was a medical doctor and psychiatrist. My father was a businessman. My stepfather was a rocket scientist with uh, Rocketdyne, now turned into Boeing, okay? These are decent people, and, and they were all totally honest, 100% tax-paying, law-abiding citizens that, that gave generously to all kinds of causes and helped out our friends and people, you know, and they helped me out a lot, and even though I wasn't that great at making money, but... So, these weren't bad people, but they still did the crap because... because their hearts weren't pure, like ours. Christians, true Christians, who say no to that shit, okay? Now, this doesn't mean that all, I'm saying all the things, okay? Because I think I believe there is honest labor. Jesus did honest labor, we know that. And we know the scripture says that um, he shall take one person, uh, there will be two women grinding, and, and he'll take one and leave the other. But there were two women doing the same thing, grinding, and, and that's everything specific in the scriptures. There's no coincidences, okay? He left us that there so that we would know that there are uh, honest occupations but it's it's almost everything is a machine of the devil to draw in souls to do wicked shit that makes you a shit sack ready for harvest okay because you are at any given moment in your life having done what you've done a shit sack or a non shit sack. Got it? And fuck, Satan knows all this, guys. He, he knows all this. He, he, the, the, this whole thing, see, everybody pretending this or that, the other, oh, it's a big problem, all these new world order people, and there's evil crap coming upon us, and, and Carl Schwab, and Bill Gates, and, and, but, but, you know, the thing is, they've already decided to be shit sacks. So, what are you complaining for when it comes harvest time? Satan's just taking his due, you know. And I'm not defending Satan or anything. I'm about to say it's I believe me. That, that guy's a big time enemy of mine, and he hates my guts so bad. I think I think I'm like one of Satan's top 20 most hated lists. I'm maybe in the top 10. But anyway. Not to brag or anything, I'm just saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not in any way cozying up to that motherfucker. Because, I mean, he came in and messed, you know, he took my, he owes me a hundred grand as far as I'm concerned. That money was coming to me and, and he sent that super soldier witch to blow up our car and uh, lost our money, so. But, see, who, who, who knows how much in debt. My, my debt in sin is probably a lot worse than that. And he may have perfect track of all that and there's nothing I can do about it but the Lord's controlling the whole situation okay everything is under God's control so it's not like you know some evil people Carl Schwab and Bill Gates these people are out of control and you know they're just greedy and selfish no it's it, 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 it's all part of a of a grand master plan see even though Satan's got a whole big plan of his own and he's doing all his thing he knows that all of his, all of his thinking and all of his planning and everything, he knows that all of that is part of God's thing. He, it's not like he's ignorant about what's going to happen and what, and what his purpose is and everything that's going on here. He knows it's for the building of the kingdom of God, but he's got his individual momentary interest, the same as any, any living person does. 
even though he's a much, you know, he's, he's a being that we probably can't comprehend as far as how, how complicated and powerful kind, kind of being that he is. But, you know, it's still, you can think of it as a person who has personal interests, you know, and he's, he, you know, he's, he's trying to get everything he can because he knows his time is short, as the scripture says. Why are, they, why are they working so hard? Why are they so organized? You know, uh, Howard Pittman was asking this one angel, and, and he told him this because they know they have a short time. And so that's, that they, they, they're trying to live the utmost they can because they feel like, you know, and however that works, I'm not saying I understand how that works. Like, why would they, you know, work so hard? Because another argument could be, you know, if you know you only have a short time left, you might as well just say, ah, screw it, you know, might as well just kick back on the couch. But these people are working hard. They're organized. They're doing everything they can. You know, advanced, hardworking, planning and everything. Like, like they, you know, like they really care about it, you know, because, and, and I, like I said, I, I don't know, I don't know exactly how that is, but I think that, see, part of the reason why you have this situation of devils in this world and, and all this stuff going on, and, you know, with, with the humans, is that, is that humans in this situation in the world would kind of be more blasé about everything because we kind of sense, like, ah, uh, you know, it's, it's, this is kind of a pit stop, you know, the real, the real game, the real life is somewhere else. But in order to, in order to bring motivation and attention and detail and, and, uh, and crispness to the, to the experience, we needed devils, these non-humans, in, the in the spirit and in the flesh, living among us, doing all this stuff, controlling everything. They're controlling everything, guys. See, I like this, I like to check this building here. It's Satan's headquarters. One of his main offices in Los Angeles. Yeah, uh, I was talking to the lady who gave me the, the, uh, the video, and uh, really, really nice person, by the way. She's, she's great. And uh, I think she's even gonna send me a piece of organized. You know, I don't know. How, oh, wait, see if she gets. She makes this really cool organized. If, if you go to the singer, singer, girly with two L's at the end, single girly channel. Uh, that's you can see all her stuff. But uh, she was telling me that she, that she hadn't known about how the the, the room because she listens to Sherry Schreiner and a bunch of people like that. So she was saying that uh, that the you know the the reptilians have a huge ass base. Uh, you know, and, and, and everything underneath here, and I, and I was explaining to her, yeah, yeah, I know about that. And it's actually my opinion that Los Angeles is the true capital of the United States. America means serpent in this one Indian language. I forget which one, but uh, in any case, it's th this is this is serpent headquarters. The serpents are the top of the of the beasts, and this and the serpents uh, that uh, that that run everything have their main headquarters here and they control humans like like we control cars basically hey guys look so uh you know remember in that uh one thing with uh uh jack and that and that devil i forget what the name of that was with uh tom cruise so uh so a, a demon lives in this tree here so the old oak remember that lady was saying stay away from old oaks so this is an old oak been here for many years before i was born check it out the devil lives in there and it comes out at night see Goes here. Looks like a heart. I'm not speaking of timing as to when, but relatively speaking, I would say times get soon when there's going to be a real finding out about who's who in the Christian community, okay, among Christians. As we already know, the non-Christian won't even stand in the courtroom of God. As Psalm 1, importantly, tells us. But the time when we're going to find out who's who. And I'll tell you something. Now, like I said, I think that there are some preachers who are, you know, they're doing good work. And I don't want to knock anybody. But at the same time, I don't see hardly any that really understand. That really, I mean, just, just okay, I'll tell you what. Find me the preacher that takes even step one in having the scripture truly revealed to them, which is 
the Proverbs 123. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and make my words known unto you. Can you show me another preacher who's saying that? Anybody, just anybody. Give me, send me an email, okay? Freeourworld.org is my site. You can buy my email there or it's at, the, uh, at my uh, YouTube thing. But uh, show, me, show me a preacher or find somebody. If you have a recording or a video or something, you can send me a link to. Anybody who's even teaching that and I, I, so far, I haven't seen them, you know. And I, I try to check out preachers, you know, and see see what they got, you know. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm just at the point now where it's like, man, uh, I don't even feel like watching them because it's like every time they're disappointingly off to where I just say to myself, my God, this person isn't even begun to have the Spirit poured out into them that the, that the Word of God may be known to them so that they can even find wisdom. Because if you haven't found wisdom, and you don't know who wisdom is, some of you out there know who wisdom is, okay? And, and But you, if you haven't found wisdom, as Proverbs 8.36 tells us, he who has found me has found life and favor with the Lord. So if you haven't found wisdom, if you haven't found her and you don't know who that is, and you don't, you know, you're not waiting at the post of her door. It says, "Blessed are those who are waiting at her posts." Her posts, okay? <laughs> are any of you getting this? I think some of you are. You're just uh, wisely staying quiet, or maybe I'm sitting here yakking to myself. Yak, yak, yak. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys are. I know there's got to be some people with brains, even though the YouTube numbers don't even make sense. So, uh, 70,000 plus subscribers, 75,000 plus subscribers, and a really big turnout for my movies is 3,000 views, but there's 75,000 subscribers. Gee, where's the other 60,000 that aren't watching my movies at all anymore? Not even one or two? Because if, if, if even half of those were watching a third or 25% of my movies, you would see much bigger numbers. But numbers that, you know, because my, my average is like 1,200, I think. And a lot of times, like if, I, if it's a preaching video, yeah, talking about the Word of God, where I really put some work into it, oh, 500 views, 600 views if I'm lucky, you know. So I don't even I don't even get it. So I think it's all just it's it's just bullshit. I mean, who knows? Sometimes I mean I know there's got well okay I sh shouldn't even say that I know there's got to be some I, mean, I don't know anything, but there's been some people you know contacting me and watching my channel and making donations on occasion. So I know there's got to be some real people, but maybe it's all bullshit. Like those people are even all shills. And they just got me fooled. There's actually no one watching my channel at all because they've completely blocked me out and all the people, that the, the numbers that they're showing and everything, all of that is just, it's all a setup. I don't know. Maybe. You know, honestly, I've never believed that some reptilian race is running this show because, like, that'd be freaking crazy. But lately, I've been actually questioning it. Devils are making our American society to be like a fucking asshole. <laughs>